how to convert a subject filmed in a video with a green screen background into a silhouette in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.3. Inside your project's edit window, hold and control and press I to insert a video clip with a green screen background. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool master bin, find the thumbnail of the video clip that you have inserted. Click and drag this to your project's timeline. The green screen used in the background for my chosen video comprises of various dark and lighter shades of green. In order to remove this, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Open Effects. Use the search box at the top of your Effects window to find the 3D Keyer tool. Click and drag one of these filters to your video edit on the timeline. Go to the Transform tool underneath the bottom left corner of your video preview and select Open Effects Overlay from the options. This will enable us to see the selection that we are making of the green screen shades on our video clip. Select your video clip on the edit timeline. Go to Inspector, select Effects to find the 3D Keyer settings. Click on the pick icon above Invert. Click hold your mouse button down and drag your cursor across the green screen background. A blue line marks the trail of your cursor illustrating parts of the green screen background that we have selected. Do not let go of your mouse cursor until you have selected all sections surrounding your subject. The subject itself should be white and the background should be black. If you let go of the mouse button too early, you can select the add option to click and drag again until you have selected the whole background. Let go of the mouse cursor once you're done. Should there be any more green screen reflections on your subject, Go to Behaviour Options, underneath Colour Space set to YUV, with the setting of Flat, you can increase the Dispill value to 1, which should help reduce the green reflections around the edges of your subject. Go down to Output, change Output from Final Composite to Alpha Highlights BW. In order to make your silhouette black, go to Untick Invert, go to select the Colour tab, with your relevant video clip selected, go to select Qualifier. Go to click on any of the highlights of your subject. The clip thumbnail to the right should turn grey. In order to make the white section transparent so that we can add a different colour to the background later on, right click on your clips grid. Go to select Add Alpha Output. Connect the blue box of thumbnail 01 to the new output blue circle to the right of the grid. Your whole preview screen should be black. Return to your edit window. Go to select your video clip. Drag this to a video track directly above, such as video track 2 here, leaving a space behind in its original position. Return to your effects options. Remove the 3D Kia search words if they are still here. Go to select generators and go to find solid color. Click and drag one of these generators to the video track directly below your original green screen video. Using the selection mode tool which you can also do by pressing A, click and drag from the edge of this to make it the same length as your original green screen video. Select the solid color edit, go to inspector and under generator double click on the color box and go to select a light background from the options. Use the vertical bar to the right of the select color window to enhance the brightness of your chosen shade. Click OK. What if you wanted to add a different color to your silhouette, including white? Select the edit of your original green screen video. Return to Effects in Inspector. Tick Invert. The light blue background color that we chose for our first video has now become the color of our subject. This could be altered by returning to the solid color edit and modifying the color underneath generator in inspector once again. For this new example, I will choose a light yellow color, hashtag FFF F00. What if you wanted to use a background color different to black? Hold a control and select your original green screen video and your solid color edit on your timeline. Right click anywhere on your selection and go to choose New Compound Clip. Click Create to combine both the video clip and the solid color edits together. 
ensure that there is a video track space below your new compound clip. Here for example I will drag this up to video track 2 so that there is space for me in video track 1 to insert a new solid colour generator which will make up my background colour. With the solid colour edit selected, under inspector and generator, double click the colour box once more and select the colour shade that you wish to have applied to the background of your video clip surrounding your subject. Here I will use a burgundy shade with the code hashtag 4B0223 entered in the HTML box in the select colour window. At the moment the colour does not appear in the background. In order to do this we need to apply alpha value to the black shade surrounding our subject. Return to your colour window and repeat the steps that we did when we initially used a black silhouette. Select qualifier, click anywhere in your subject, right click anywhere in the clips grid alongside your video preview, go to add alpha output and connect the blue box of the clip to the blue circular output symbol to add transparency to your black shade. If you decide to change the colour of your silhouette you will need to return to your edit window right click on your compound clip and go to decompose in place so that your original video clip with the green screen returns along with the initial solid colour edit which made up the colour of the subject. Again this can be modified in inspector under generator. The background music to this tutorial is provided by the proud channel sponsor Audio. A link to the company's website and another link which will enable you to make a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.